Aries, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is going to be, you know, messages about you and your partner, your person. We're going to find out the situation, how it's looking, okay? Um, just any message really that wants to come out here. We have the four of coins in reverse. We have the three of coins. So the four of coins, the three of coins. I feel like someone is definitely stuck in a situation. Uh, but I feel I also feel like they're getting unstuck here. <laughs> the reason why I say that is because temperance is here. And this is the angel. This is Sagittarius as well. But this is an angel to come in and help, you know, help you manifest, help you um, cope with, you know, a situation that hasn't brought you to fulfillment. It could be definitely um, work related here or because there's a lot of pentacles as well and you're not seeing there's something that you're not seeing here yeah some, someone someone is not wanting to work with you and or you're not wanting to work with them On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. So you, this is definitely you right here. It's like, you know, this is sometimes this is the energies like you want it, like the energies that you don't see, the underlying energies as well. But it's like the Queen of Cups could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone with the water in their chart. Um, someone is being really, you know, um, just like. I feel like this person right here, and I feel like this is you, Aries, this is, it's like you, you have passion, but it's like you hide from this person for some reason, especially with the Nine of Swords. But there's some commitment here, it's like you want to rest, but you, you're, you still go back to this energy, it's like you going back, it's like you, there's some secret that you're holding back, that you're walking away from, um, and I feel like this is an energy that, you know, it's like you want to return to this person, but yet you're not saying anything to them. Again, we have the Four of Wands. We have the King of Cups. So you're hiding your emotions here with the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. We have the world. So there's some sort of completion with the way that you feel or the way that you view this person or the way that you view the whole situation. I feel that, you know, not only a completion, but it's like a level up. It's a sense of understanding and of growth and, you know, uh, maintaining all the elements within your area. You know, I do feel like Aries, this is you opening up your heart chakra and really giving everything that you had to a situation or that you, you are, you're totally taking um, action towards justice, and justice is the truth here, okay, the truth about something, something is, something is brawling, I want to say, it's boiling um, in your heart space, especially, look at that, it's like, it's open, it's opening, okay, I do, I feel it, and you're holding back that energy, but you're walking toward balancing these energies out, because you have a lot of passion here, but yet you don't want to tell this person, or you desire to, but yet you haven't. Spirit guides, guardian angels, with the energies for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their person. Spirit guides, what is the message coming through for their highest good for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. This is you feeling comfortable, or do you feel comfortable? Um. Aries, this is the Nine of Cups here, so there's a sense of making all your wishes come true, you know, but yet holding back, holding on to something so tightly, it's like almost like a dream that you have here, a fantasy or something. We have the Five of Wands, the Tower, the Strength card, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so Aries, let's check this out. In the middle of the deck, we have the eight. You're walking away from something, okay? And you're not telling anybody. And I feel like there is an offer here that, you know, someone else has made to you or that you're definitely not wanting to reveal for one thing. 
Let me just get some cards. Okay, Aries, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the eight? Eight of Cups. Okay, so you're missing something. This is, a, it's like you're, you're having to, this is a blessing in disguise is what I'm seeing here, okay? You're letting some time pass because there has been a hurtful moment here and you're trying to integrate, okay, Aries? And when I say integrate, it's like a sense of, you know, um, trying not to make things worse, okay? You don't want your pot to overflow because you are going through a, sen a sense of, uh, it's like you're happy though. For some reason, I feel like you're happy, but you, you don't want to let this situation go, or they don't want to let you go. There's forgiveness here, or needing to have forgiveness, some sort of closure that you're holding on to, or they are holding on to, so that, you know, it's like, there's no closure here. You don't need closure, just go ahead and move on, that's what I'm hearing. I'm also, yeah, justice, justice will be served. Um, there's good karma coming to you. Go ahead and take action, okay? This is about you. This is about yourself. But this is something that's not growing, that is not setting in for your highest in intentions here. Yeah, there's no growth. There's no planning. There's no future here. So there's movement to letting go of a situation and taking ahead and taking lead here. This is you, Aries, being truthful, being just having that justice energy but yet walking away in truth and honesty and passion and desire because um, you're definitely moving into a comfortable situation but for some people they might not see it as so comfortable because this is the death card with the nine of cups in reverse the death card is definitely not as bad as what it seems so you're going through some sort of change and you know you probably want to make amends but someone wants to make amends with you as what I'm hearing. Okay, so we have the six of coins. Something that has not been said wants to be said. On the bottom of the deck again, we have the Empress in reverse. Okay, so the Two of Cups. This is um, planning that intention and it has grown okay this person feels for you they have a lot of emotions for you they think about you as their queen see this is a power couple right here but not only that we have the the four swords there was some hurt in the past and they do think about you okay um i do feel like they will reach out but right now i just feel time is being needed they need time um Let's get an overall energy. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit Guides. Yeah, there's definitely a sense of forgiveness, someone coming back. Because they want forgiveness, but they don't want any argument. They do feel a strong bond with you. Wow, okay, so that it kind of like flew off. Your intuition is trying to tell you something. We also have the Emperor, the Priestess, okay, and Temperance. So this is the sense of alchemy and a sense of integrating, okay, and a sense of hope as well. But Emperor here is setting up boundaries um, around the relationship. I feel like this is the Divine Masculine here trying to bring in. He has a lot of passion and he wants to help you or, or help the situation. There's a lot of emotions being um, scent and a lot of fire, a lot of fire, a lot of water, okay, and this is a needing to, it needs time so that you two can definitely become, you know, the lovers here at the bottom of the deck, okay, so you could be dealing with the Gemini, Cancer, Aries, we have all signs really, okay, so let's just get some cards from Romance Angels for you, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, very sun rising Venus for June 2020. That's in June and August. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, we have love yourself first. Your self-respects makes you more romantically attractive. We have flirt. We have worth waiting for. Any more cards coming out for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their person? Angels, what's going on for Aries? Telling past issues. Okay, so yeah, so this is what's going on underneath the scene. It's healing family issues. So perhaps you and your person um, are going through some some issues, and they are. It's it's like you're being divinely guided, and this angel here is helping the situation out. And I feel like that's temperance. <clears throat> they do think that it is worth waiting for, but there is definitely some self love, and not only self love. I feel like there's a lot of fire and water so there just needs to be some flirtation you know some sort of integration here to have respect for yourself but yet have that fun flirtiness with the other you know because this is about you know having a good time and this is someone who's being closed off because you know it's almost like this energy with the emperor here in temperance it's like trying to integrate trying to um, manifest something here but yet Knowing that you guys are soulmates, I do feel like this person is learning to love their self first. Um, they will flirt with you or there will be some sort of communication towards you. But for right now, I feel like things are definitely closed off from the relationship. But again, you know, you guys could meet up in the future, so to say. But this person is definitely healing behind some sort of heartache, some sort of pain, some sort of... Um, yeah, there was forgiveness here, or there was a sense of needing some sort of forgiveness, needing some sort of communication, especially with the Page of Swords. Okay, you could be dealing with an air sign as well. But with that being said, I do feel like, you know, there was some competition and you just didn't want to, or they didn't want to make, you know, the matters worse. So they had to leave the situation, but they will reach out to you, okay? I'm going to pull some other cards here. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how your person views you. This is the Casanova deck as well, so if you don't know what the Casanova is, you should Google it. Okay, so this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. As I step by my energy for Aries, how does a person feel? We have the Ten of Cups. It's a longing for your love. Wow, they... A longing for your love. They, there's something that has... <laughs> there has been no love here, possibly. Or there's been a sense of just stagnation, no passion. Or perhaps this person... Um, feels like the relationship had, has ended or there's not no love coming back for you or they see you as someone who is very attractive okay um let's see this is the two of they feel like the relationship ended and they do want a new beginning Look, okay, so we have the four. It's like they want to see, they're real stagnant right now, but I do see that six of swords are moving slowly towards you. And then we have the hermit. So they are coming out, out of hermit energy. They're coming out of that energy of wanting to be alone, okay? Um, they do see you as someone who is, you know, very beautiful, but yet passionate about what they do. But not only passionate, it's like you have things that... that they want not only do they want it's like a transformation here with the death card okay um and they also feel like you know with the two of wands here it's a sense of passion of joy and they, and they really want this uh, with it being in reverse i feel like they really do want this but they have to it's like a sense of going through this transformation with the death card here and really having that desire and that passion to start something new 
with that uh, with the tin here, but it's also with this transformation energy with the uh, death card. I feel like you know this is like he's saying like come on buddy he, he, this is healing this is a transformation he knows what, this person knows what they have to do let's look on the bottom of the deck again we have the hermit so this could be either seeking insight wanting insight needing to go deeper in or come out of that energy it's like something needs to be said here um coming back it's like this situation happened before okay this is could be the third time for some of you guys you know and um, there's a lot of man manipulation within the situation but there was also a sense of time where you didn't give that person the love but they didn't give that you the love that you desired so they left you for someone else it could be vice versa okay but what i'm seeing here is there with the death card twice there's a huge transformation here and this person really desires integration with you okay um and i'm trying to figure that out and i do feel like they will reach out but this is a sense of dreaming about you here with the four of swords the page of cups and the queen of cups but they're not telling you anything okay for some of you they could reach out because they want truthfulness as well you know and i feel like that's coming from you this truthfulness and honesty of working together or they desire it okay so these are some really strong energies, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please give it a like, a share, and a thumbs up. Thank you.